So the charge is uh, fomenting insurrection, um, but the FBI, and we researched this thoroughly, so I'm going to be very precise. On January 5th, okay, the FBI office in Norfolk, Virginia, issued an explicit warning that extremists were preparing to travel to Washington to commit violence and war. That's a quote. Okay, one day before the Capitol attack. Now, if the contention is that the president's speech, which is what this is, and they actually used it on the day of the attack, was an encouragement that this FBI report blows that right out of the water. That coupled with the exculpatory comments that President Trump made that day, January 6th, that we're going to march over there peacefully and patriotically, which the Democrats, again, this is the fourth time I'm telling you that, cut out, that it's over. Any, any court, civil, criminal, would that it's over. You can't prove your case, but you don't have to prove it. Democrats know they're going to lose. They know Donald Trump's not going to be convicted in the Senate. They already know that. Again, it's to diminish him and anyone who might support him. It's all about hate. That's what it's about. And it's a, and you get you know, people overseas watching this and, you know, saying, what is this America? What is this United States? What does it come to there? That, that's what they're saying. All right, National Guard is still in Washington. It's costing the taxpayer about $500 million so far since January to keep them there. People ask me who's in charge of that. The Pentagon is in charge of that. Um, the District of Columbia is run by the federal government. So 5,000 troops remain. They're not needed, but President Obama wants them. That President Obama, President Biden that's a Freudian slip if there ever was one. President Biden wants the guard there because this sends a message that far right kooks are dangerous. That's why they're there. But it's costing the, the taxpayer. We're up to five hundred million dollars in guard costs. Amazing, huh? It really is. Uh, really is what's happening to this country. Well, Joe Biden is going to be president and we may be in for some economic uncertainty. That's why now more than ever. I recommend you diversify with gold and silver. The only company I recommend is American Hartford Gold. So please call them right now and tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $1,500 of free silver on your first order. Now, since I've been recommending American Hartford Gold, gold itself up over 40%, silver up over 60%. So don't wait. Call 866-501. 5201. That's 866-501-5201 or text BILL to 65532. Bill O'Reilly here. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to the First TV YouTube page. Just hit the big red subscribe button below and you'll get clips and highlights of my program, The No Spin News, every single day. We'll see you soon.